Moderna Inc.'s experimental vaccine for COVID-19 has shown it was safe and provoked immune responses in all 45 healthy volunteers in an ongoing early-stage study, U.S. researchers have reported. Volunteers who got two doses of the vaccine had high levels of virus-killing antibodies that exceeded the average levels seen in people who had recovered from COVID-19, the team reported. Risk-averse banks earning interest income by parking their money with the Reserve Bank of India can invest in road projects and get much better returns, Union Road Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari has said. Speaking at a webinar, Gadkari noted that toll income of National Highways Authority of India is expected to reach Rs 1 lakh crore in coming years and traffic density was on the rise, offering a good opportunity for banks to invest. As the world buys to develop a coronavirus vaccine, human trials for Bharat Biotech's Covaxin began at All India Institute of Medical Sciences in Patna. The first dose of the experimental vaccine has been administered to the study participants who will be given the second dose after 14 days. Meanwhile, Russian scientists said that they are planning to launch one by mid-August. Indian Council of Medical Research has also acknowledged Russia's efforts to fast-track vaccine development. In a stunning reversal of policy, the Trump administration on Tuesday abandoned a plan that would have forced out tens of thousands of foreign students following widespread condemnation of the move and pressure from colleges and major businesses. The government said it would drop the plan amid a legal challenge brought by universities. However, the administration still intended to issue a regulation in the coming weeks addressing the issue. US President Donald Trump on Tuesday said of late he has not spoken with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping and has no plans to do so. He expressed anger over China's inability to prevent the spread of the coronavirus out of the country from where it originated. Trump also slammed former Vice President Joe Biden, who is his Democratic challenger, in the November presidential polls for being soft on China. Britain's government has backtracked on plans to give Chinese telecommunications company Huawei a limited role in the UK's new high-speed mobile phone network in a decision with broad implications for relations between London and Beijing. Britain imposed the ban after the US threatened to sever an intelligence sharing arrangement because of concerns Huawei equipment could allow the Chinese government to infiltrate UK networks.